Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to introduce normal probability distributions or what we call the normal curve. So normal probability distributions are a set of distributions of continuous random variables. They're defined by their mean and their standard deviation. The notation that we will often see is n for normal, mu, comma, sigma. So we're defining that it is a normal type distribution, we're giving its mean, and we're giving its standard deviation. All of these distributions have the same general shape. They are bell-shaped, that's what we call this look over here, and things to note about them is that they are symmetric around their mean, so here's the mean right here in the center at the top of the highest point. So symmetric means we know we have 50% of the data below the mean and 50% above the mean. We also know that not only is our mean right there in the middle, but our median and our mode are pretty much the same as the mean. So all of those kind of get stacked right here in the center. It's also very important for us to know that the total area underneath one of these normal probability curves is one. So the total area underneath here equals one. Or we could think 100% if we're thinking in percentages. And then also the normal curve approaches but never actually touches the horizontal axis. So over here on the left side and over here on the right side, once we get out past about three standard deviations from the mean, our curve gets really, really close to the horizontal axis, but never actually touches. So there are infinitely many of these types of distributions, these normal probability distributions, and if we're working with more than one at a time, it can be really helpful to standardize them and compare. So when we do that, we work with what we call the standard normal distribution. So this distribution, because it is normal, has all of the characteristics we just talked about, but it is a special distribution with a mean of zero and a sigma or a standard deviation of one. So if we were to graph that out, we would place our mean right in the center and then at each tick mark, we would count out one standard deviation. So 0 plus 1 gets us to 1, 1 plus 1 gets us to 2, and 2 plus 1 gets us out to 3, and we would do the same thing in the negative direction. All right, guys, that's our quick intro to normal distributions and normal probability curves. We'll see what we can do them and do with them in future videos. Catch you next time.